So again, in this video, we're gonna talk about a kind of a one-off topic, so it's called inverse functions. Um, it's just one little method you need to learn off and it could come up in the exam. It's come up once or twice, uh, so it's definitely something you should learn. Uh, it's not too hard at all. So now, inverse functions, again, just a little part of functions. Uh, they'll ask you something like this. If f of x is equal to three x plus seven, find f minus one of x. So that's the inverse function of x. So here's the method you're gonna do. So you're gonna take this here and you're gonna write y is equal to 3x plus 7. Okay, so you're going to sub y in for f of x, and now you're going to rearrange this uh, as follows. So I'm just going to write it like so 3x plus 7 is equal to y. Then I'm going to say 3x is equal to y minus 7. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. I'm going to be left with x is equal to y minus 7 over 3. Okay, so you isolate x, you get x on its own, and then basically you swap it back with y. So I'm just going to try and save as much space as possible. So now we have x is equal to y minus seven over three. You basically just reverse that and you say y is equal to x minus seven over three. Okay, so instead of x is equal to y, y is equal to x now. And then you just say f of minus one of x is equal to x minus seven over three. And that's your answer, okay? So that's as easy as it is. All you have to do is let it equal to y, rearrange it so you isolate x, and then just swap y and x again and then you have it. So I'll give you one more example and let you guys try this example first. So just pause the video, give it a, give it a shot yourselves, and then uh, you can fast forward and see if you got it right. Um, but it's the same method every single time. So I'll just do a quick one and I'll go yellow down here. So the example is, so there's the example there quickly. So just pause the video, give it a shot, and then you can check it at the end, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna start going ahead with it now. So remember our method, I'll go dark blue. We're gonna say y is equal to 10 minus 2x over 3. I'm going to uh, rearrange this so it's going to be 3y is equal to 10 minus 2x. I'm just going to write this the other way around. 10 minus 2x is equal to 3y. Let's go down a little bit more. Um, it's going to be minus 2x is equal to 3y minus 10. I'm just going to multiply everything by minus 1. It's going to be 2x is equal to 10 minus 3y. And that means that x is equal to 10 minus 3y over 2, okay? Uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So you might have a different plus and minus here. Uh, it should be the same as long as it's, uh, so basically another answer you could get is 3y minus 10 over minus 2. That's also, it's the same thing basically, um, but it doesn't matter. So hopefully that quick little method makes sense. Just remember to basically remember that method because it could come up. And yeah, that's all you really need to know about the inverse function. And we'll see you next time. We're going to talk about uh, injective, surjective, and bijective functions. Just the definitions there uh, that people sometimes get a little bit confused with.